Okay, we're moving along to step number 23, and that's uh, wiring up your power supply. And if you come over here, your power supply is pretty much broken into uh, three sections. And for a total of nine, you got three, three, and three. And the first three we'll deal with right away. That's um, going to be your power cable where you plug it in. And you'll want to plug it in uh, to where the brown goes to the L termi terminal. The color that's supposed to be there, that's uh, blue. It's going to your N terminal. And the yellow goes to the um, symbol for the ground terminal there. Then that gets you your power supply uh, wired up. Now the next wire that you're going to hook up is the wire that goes over and powers your motherboard. And oh by the way I put these crimp terminals in. That Those normally aren't there. They're usually just bare wires kind of frayed out. So yours won't look like that unless you crimp your ends. And so you'll see these have a these don't quite line up very well with the um oh there you go that'll click down these don't quite line up very well um, but there's three positives and three negatives and so looking from the right side you need to have your red lead go into one of your three positives and your black lead go into one of your three negatives it really doesn't matter just so you have one going to one the other going the other in other words, you don't want them all going to the positive or all going to the negative. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you look on your on your main board, there will also be a plus and a minus where it plugs into your main board. And you want to make sure you put your black to your minus and your red to your positive. And uh, stay consistent on this end. Uh, black to your minus and red to your positive. And once you've done that, that's pretty much all there is to wiring up um, your power supply and you can drop this little cover down there kinda just looks nice but that's it okay for step 24 you're gonna need three M12 or excuse me three M3 12s and there they are and we're gonna just turn it to the side here and we'll, I'll show you where to install those three screws. Okay, I've uh, inserted the three screws. And you can see them there. This is going to be the outside one. There's a blank blank hole right there. Then we cover over this one. And that's, that's just a reflection there. There's nothing there. And then the final one's up on the third spot there. So that's what all three of them look like right there. One, two, three. All I did is insert them from the back and they're pointing towards uh, towards you. Okay, looking at the back of your power supply, starting in this upper corner, and your cables are down there, um, you're going to thread it in that top thread hole right there. And then... Um, and it goes into this one here and swing over here to that one and it seems to work best to put the top one in first and then let it swing into place and I'll just let you kind of get you over here so you watch me put this in So I put it in almost all the way and then let it just drop down and you can see this whole line right up for you. And again I, I leave a little slack in there, don't put it in all the way. And then I get your last one there. And then now you can go back in and, and tighten those up. Okay that's what it's going to look like uh, when you put it in. 
I guess the only thing you really got to watch for is just make sure your cables point down. And, uh, oh, don't uh, put these screws in. I keep saying this over and over, but this is just acrylic, which is really brittle plastic. So you don't want to put these screws in too tight. You could end up cracking the acrylic. So you just want to, again, put it snug, but don't uh, put it on so tight that you crack the acrylic. Okay, for step step 25, we're going to attach the main board, the controller board that's over there. And these are the parts we're going to need, obviously, the controller board. And we're going to need four M330s. Those are there. We're going to need four of the 15 millimeter spacers. Those are those white ones there. And then we're going to need four M3 nuts. And those are right there. And of course, like I said, you're going to need your main controller board. Okay, I'll show you how this goes on. Um, you just take the screw and you feed it through here. Put the white washer right there. Stick it through the acrylic and put a nut on that side there. And... Uh, just takes all one for each corner there and you can kind of know you're getting it put in the right spot there's only really one way to put it on there but um, right above that connection post right there there's only going to be one open hole or just use that hole right up there on the top there and the other side or it'll spin it around Again, you know, it just goes the screw through the board to the white spacer to the nut on the other side, not each of the four corners. Um, not too much to this, just make sure your power cords, your green ones, connectors are facing down, and you should be good to go. Okay, the last final step is going to be uh, hooking up your components. And if you uh, follow my video for uh, testing your uh, components before assembly which you should do because you don't want to get all this done and find out you got a bad stepper motor or something and have to take it apart to get at it uh, you um, it'll be basically the same way you hook up your components but this time you're doing it on the printer you want to find your sheet inside your printer that's got a picture of your motherboard and this is a really well done sheet it'll have um, and these markings are really accurate uh, those markings are actually on your motherboard, so if you don't have your sheet, you can use those. Um, but it's just so much easier to read it off the sheet. It'll tell you which component plugs into where. Um, that's about it. I'm not going to do cable management in this video, because it's almost like a whole topic in and of itself. But if you were to plug everything in at this point, um, it should be... Uh, I believe you got enough of the steps done though where it should work for you. The, um, and again, I'll probably I'll be debating whether or not I'll make another video for cable management or not. Anyway, so that should be the conclusion. Just follow your instructions there, where to plug the wires on. And if you're following me in those videos, now you know why I kept saying put all your uh, connectors, your labels to the end, so that would be easier to tell what wires are going for what. Um, again, you can always trace them out, but I'll just speed things up for you. Anyways, I hope you liked this video, and if it helped you out, uh, give me a thumbs up.